reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher. Pushing further, Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's the... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome in Indiana High School football fans. SummitCitySports.com coming to you live right here for sectional, excuse me, <coughs> for 3A regional final action here at Bishop Lewers High School. This is SummitCitySports.com. Sean Boswell on the color. Tim Atkinson calling your play-by-play, -play, and Patrick Wright up on the roof. Keep it warm for you up there, man in the camera. We got a good one here tonight, a rematch of the regional final from a year ago, played right here at Bishop Lewers High School. And we did see the Bishop Lewers Knights just get steamrolled by the running game of the Mishawaka Marion Knights. Only one player returning in that backfield, and that is the quarterback, Mitchell Nagy. Mitchell Nagy is a definite threat, but all time too run that ball against these Bishop Lures Knights. Bishop Lures, of course, trying to get some revenge from a year ago as they will take on the Knights here for the second year in a row. And it's going to come down to Norman Kanapke, in my opinion. He's going to have to be solid for head coach Kyle Lindsey. This is SummerCitySports.com bringing this live coverage of regional final action here in the state of Indiana. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as the players take the field for a prayer, and we will pause for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Two Catholic schools meeting at the center of the field for a prayer before we get this going. This is Tim Atkinson here, SummitCitySports.com, bringing Sean Boswell. Sean, obviously you have a plethora of football experience all the way through St. Francis. How excited are you tonight here for this regional final? It's going to be a good matchup. I'm excited to see how it plays out. Obviously, you mentioned last year things didn't go Lure's way. Um, in a big steamroll, as you mentioned, the running game of Marion Knights, it'll be interesting to see how they match up with the speed of Bishop Lures. I haven't seen a team in 3A with the kind of team speed that they possess. So we all know all the weapons they have, and Norm Kanapke is the signal caller for them. And it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out in round two this year. So Lures will receive the opening kickoff, and this is a dangerous part and will be a key tonight is the special teams. Bishop Lures can run three returners out there that can break it at any time. Justin Gaston, Jordan Presley, throwing Jay McJohnson back there. They are tremendous athletes and can break it at any time. I'm telling you, Jordan Presley is a tremendous player, and you will see him. He's number two. He's on the far hash. He's back deep with Justin Gaston, but all-purpose yards for Justin Presley is just tremendous. Of course, started his high school career at Homestead. Now finishing it up here, 1,663 total yards for the Bishop Lure Knight stud, and they will kick it short, and Lures needs to jump on it. Nearly just did Oof. get to it. Justin Gaston came up to pick it up, and that could have been a dangerous play to start the game there, Boz. <laughs> right off the bat, I mean, last week we saw Belmont do kind of a similar strategy with the sky kicks, the different looks of the onside kick, and you would have thought <laughs> Coach Lindsay would have uh, gone over that heavily this right. week so we'll see if they get some adjustments later on because I'm sure nobody wants to kick deep like you mentioned to Gaston and Presley. So here we go first possession and the first play of the drive three wide receiver set to the far side lone wide receiver to your near that's Nate Moore. Kanapke in the shotgun has Presley on his right hip. This is some CitySports.com Indiana High School football and they're going to go right to that seam route. Uh oh Gas make it Jordan Presley cuts oh, man. and he could take it the distance on the first play of scrimmage. Jordan Presley, 4-6. Beautiful play to start it right off the <laughs> bat, Boz. That's one way to go about it. Hey, they're, like you said, they're out for revenge this year, and no better way to start than the first play from scrimmage being a touchdown to Jordan Presley. Let's go to the SummitCitySports.com replay to take a peek at that seam route. As let's try to slow it down for you. And get that replayed. Takes a look right down the seam. Saw it all the way, and Presley right on the money in stride, makes one cut, and then was gone. The extra point is up, and that is good. So seven zip early for Lures. What a start here for head coach Kyle Lindsay. You can't ask for anything better right there, Boz. Absolutely. Like I said, I mean, not not a better start. You could have you could have uh, drew up. Coach uh, Coach Lindsay did a great play call right there. Hit his playmaker in the seam, got him with space, and he let, made a man miss and took it to the house. So Lures, one play, boom, touchdown. Now we'll have to kick off to Mishawaka Marion, and this is exactly what Bishop Lures needed to do was start with a score and make Marion play catch up as they love to run the ball. Do not throw it hardly at all for the Knights, does Nagy. So we'll see what happens on this opening kick for the Bishop Lures Knights as Presley shows you the skill and Kanapke with the tremendous throw. Seven zip Lures into kick for Bishop Lures is number 22 John Podzelinski back deep for the Knights of Marion number 13 is Maddox Mogunia Takes it wide, then slips. That was number three, Michael Gibson. So they will start at about their own 25-yard line, first and 10 for the Marion Knights of Mishawaka. And now they have to answer here down in the hole early, Boz. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I mean, mentioned a little bit earlier, just the physicality of a Lures team that has to go through that SAC week in and week out. You can just see the size difference on their D-line facing against a smaller uh, Marion O-line. And that's going to be key is that Bishop Lures defensive line. Watch for Will Derrick, number 55, to try to break things up and wreak havoc. That time he does get out of it. 
came over, and that was country music superstar Alan Jackson <laughs> on the tackle. We got an early flag, a late one on that far sideline. Let's see what the call is. It's like a no gain or maybe a loss on the play, but we do have a flag. I'm glad you mentioned the Alan Jackson reference. I always do every time I see a <laughs> high life from Richard Lures. you got to say, I mean, what a name for a guy, and he definitely lives up to it on the football field. He is a tremendous player in that middle linebacker slot. Him and Kamari Harris, two of the better ones here in northeast Indiana and in the state. So that penalty is going to be on. Yeah, they'll be blocking in the back on the Marion Knights, so take them back. Now they're in a big hole with 11.28 left in this first quarter. Lou is, up, Lou is already up 7-0. Off near side, and that's going absolutely nowhere. It'd be easier to tell you what Bishop Lewis night player wasn't in on the tackle <laughs> on that play as that was smelled out from the beginning and another loss third and extremely long for the Marion Knights and what a huge hole this is. It's a tough situation for the kind of offense that Marion runs. Um, you don't see him throw the ball very often, but a situation like this, I I don't know what you do. Maybe call a screen here, a quick little dump off, try to make a, try to make a man miss and pick up a big play, but Early, early momentum definitely swinging towards Lewis' direction. Here's Brock. Under center is going to hand. Lowers his shoulder. Instead, they go just with the dive play right there, try to give their kicker some room. And it will be fourth and long for Marion at 10 20. Clock rolling. Thank you for joining us here tonight. This is game one of three. Coming to you live from SummitCitySports.com. Last check, Angola and Bishop Dwanger. They're playing at New Haven High School. Dwanger was up early 13 zip early in that contest. At the end of one, Snyder was down 7 0 to Carmel. And that's a beautiful kick. And Presley just misjudged that. And that takes a nice roll for Marion and will be down at the 39 yard line so first and 10 for norman kanapke and the knights on their second possession well can't do much better than he did on the opening possession <laughs> right i mean you go back to the same place if they stop it twice i mean i don't know i mean they have all the weapons you can name you have presley you have gas and you have johnson you have nate moore who scored three touchdowns last week so i mean the list of weapons for kanapke is just so long. We'll see who takes advantage of what mismatch they have throughout this game. We'll also throw in their sophomore, number 12, Cameron Hedgecock. Yeah. It could be a game difference as well. So they'll flip-flop that formation from their first play, and they'll go Presley up the gut. And that one tackled immediately. It looked like that was number 64, Miguel Ortiz on the stop. Just a minimal gain there, second and nine for Bishop Lewers. Another guy you want to see get in the game and get some action in is uh, Coward, uh, Breeden Coward, number five. Last week got a lot of touches. Good good change of pace back going out of Presley. There's Gaston on the jet sweep. Wants to bring it near side. Marion had the angle and a beautiful tackle out in space. Didn't see the number on that. Number 34 it was Thomas Ewing, the junior. That was good ball sniff out there and wrapped up for the loss. So it is third and nine. That was a loss of one for Lures in their second possession. Here's Kanapke, four wide receiver set. They're spread. He's going to look to throw. Step back, three-stepper, looking down the seam once again and just through the hands of Hedgecock. That was a good-looking pass, though. Right there, Hedgecock just couldn't pull it down. Great ball from Kanapke, taking a shot on third and long. Hedgecock, I mean, you got faith in your guys. He'll go back to you, right? no doubt. I mean, he's been a proven playmaker, so nothing to be ashamed of after that drive. See if they can get a good punt here and pin Marion deep again in their own territory. So Michael Gibson is deep for Marion and head coach Michael Davidson and Norman Kanapke to punt. The pressure came, low kick, spiral, bounces out wide and over the 35-yard line to be down right there at the 35, first and 10 for Marion, SummitCitySports.com. 
Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way. Offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. First and 10, 8.39 on the clock here in the first quarter. Second drive. What a play, and that's who I mentioned. Will Derrick, the big boy. Nice progression to bring Brock down for no gain. Second and 10, and Will De Derrick is a difference maker there at that right end. Absolutely. I mean, you can't mention enough the size difference. Just the physicality Lures is going to have, but this is a different kind of offense that they've faced throughout their SEC schedule. So they're going to have to stay disciplined with all those different looks that an option offense can give you. We'll see if they can man up to the task throughout this game. So the snow is starting to come down a little bit harder, as you see in your screen right there. So second and ten, Brock. Hands. Nice cut and then smacked by Allen Jackson up top. And big number 77 was down low. That was Jack Sweeney for Lure. So a good pair of tackling right there for the Bishop Lures Knights gain of one and a half and shout out to Alan Jackson again like I said I can't can't say enough about the name but how about him out there wearing no sleeves that's that's a statement right there it gets a little intimidation factor going on if you go, got somebody wearing no sleeves in 30 degree weather so here's a three wide receiver set for Marion one in the backfield Brack takes the snap Looking near side, and that one just thrown way short. Bring up fourth and eight, and Marion will have to punt down seven, nothing. Seven, 11 left. Clock stopped on that incompletion. So we'll see here if they choose to try to angle this away from Presley and Gaston. As this time, Presley will go to that far side as well. And Justin Gaston to your near side. A pair of senior dynamic players. And a kick is number 99. Hunter Renner for Marion. Oh, and fumbled it and then nearly blocked. Somehow got it off. And that will bounce out of bounds wide at the 43-yard line. So good field position once again here for Lures to start their third drive. Great awareness there from the punter, Renner. That could have been a lot worse if you're a Marion fan. I mean, the ability to pick up that after fumbling it and still getting it away for about a 15 20 yard punt still great position for lures and we'll see if they can do anything with it this time first and 10 for norman kanapke and his bishop lures knights trips near side lone wide receiver to your far side that's presley in the backfield with kanapke he's on his left hip kanapke takes a snap check it that was cowherd in the backfield, Kanapke, and smartly slides down, avoids the collision with the big fella, Ewing, and live to fight another day type of situation. We'll bring up second and eight, 6.50 on the clock. Beautiful play to open the game for Lures. A little stagnant on their second drive, now into their third drive, second and eight. Kanapke, shotgun, looking to pass, looking down the middle, ooh, right in the... Soft spot of that zone was Jamie Johnson, but thrown just a bit behind. But I know Jamie Johnson's gonna think he should have grabbed that one. Absolutely, he's gonna he's gonna realize it. Yeah, I should have made that play for you. But in these kind of conditions, perfect balls still is not the ideal thing you need in these kind of. It's cold out. The ball's hard. It's a little wet because of the rain and sleet. So Kanapke will still wing it out to you. He's gonna get it to you. It's just about coming down with the ball. Third and eight. Big stop here, waiting for the Marion Knights. Kanapke, four-man pressure, comes near side, and Ooh. just out of bounds was Nate Moore. Good throw under pressure, but just a bit wide. That'll bring up fourth and eight. Do have an update from New Haven High School where the Bishop Dwinger Saints are hosting the Angola Hornets. That is a 16-0 game. That was early in that second quarter there at New Haven. Try to get an update for you as well from Carmel, as that was 7-0 at, at uh, the first quarter, end of the first quarter. Carmel up. The pressure again on that punt. Beautiful punt 
and takes a hop right in the gut of Gibson. Uh, that tackled right at the 20. Beautiful play by Christian Fly. Top five neighbor in the SAC, Christian Fly with a beautiful <laughs> tackle at that 20. Nice punt from Kanafi there. Had a lot of pressure and still was able to get it off with a little bit of distance this time. And great play in open space by Fly. Able to bring down the returner. So first and 10, Marion will start their drive on their own 20. Is there going to be a late arrival out from the sideline calling the play on that far side? You get a good look at it from our cameraman up top, Patrick Reith. He's up there in the elements for you viewers here at SummitCitySports.com. So Marion, offense, takes the field. That's Anderson, dots the eye. There's Brock on the rollout. Nice catch. Nope, he didn't hold on to it. Incomplete pass. Intended receiver was number 20 for Marion Tyler DeBow. Watching Marion warm up earlier, they were definitely struggling on their rights and lefts. I, that's like uh, pitch and catch, running the routes each side. Just They're not used to doing that. It's not what their offense really calls for. So especially in conditions like this, you're going to see some miscues in their passing game. Another update from New Haven, 22 nothing. Bishop Dwanger destroying Angola in that first half. There's just under six minutes left in the second quarter. A beautiful play, and who do you know, Alan Jackson. He is putting his fingertips all over this contest right here on the defensive side of the ball, Alan Jackson. Him with Jack Sweeney down low have been a tandem. Clock rolling, 5.40. So a bad start for Marion, but only down 7 nothing, and you have the ball as we're midway through this first quarter. So as badly as it started, not looking, or it is looking up here. He rolls near side, looking for that option. Oh, that's a face mask, and that might be a 15-yarder. They didn't call it. Oh, maybe that wasn't a face mask. May have been on the shoulder pad. <laughs> but he definitely got whipped around, yeah, boss? Yeah, that, I think they got away with one on that. Presley definitely <laughs> laid the boom on him, but I think he got away with a little face mask. So it will bring up fourth and about 14. Five minutes left in the first quarter. And Renner back deep. Or excuse me, Renner to punt for Marion. Back deep, Gaston and Presley for the Knights. They stand on the 50-yard line. High snap, good catch. Ooh, about slipped. And a beautiful punt, end over end, takes a nice hop, and Presley wants everyone to stay around it. Let's take another look at that play, Boz, here on the SumpCitySports.com replay. As that came near side, and that, boy, does that look. Let's see, we'll slow it down and get it back here. You know, watch Brock come near side on this option. Gaston there. Man, that does look like a face mask. <laughs> No call. The ref's right there. I mean, wow. maybe he got right under it, but it definitely looks like he got a lot of face mask on that one. I'm sure that's exactly what the Marion Knights fans are thinking. First and ten for Lures. Great field position once again. See if they can do something here. Kanapke hands and lowers the shoulder. Does Presley and out near the first down marker. About a nine-yard gain. Good first down play for the Knights and head coach Kyle Lindsey. Great run from Presley there. He's initially hit. About two yards after the line of scrimmage and able to fight for seven more yards after contact. And that's what they're going to need moving forward. Some tough runs because Marion's no slouch at all. That's for sure. Second and short. Draw. No, he's going to keep it. Pulled it right out of his gut last second and dives for the first down marker but is shy. I think he did get back to the line of scrimmage. What a bring up third and short for Lures. But what a statement out there at New Haven for the Saints. As they kicked off after that 22-0 score and forced a fumble on the kickoff. And Dwanger now in position to score again under six minutes left. Wow. And that one will be not only enough, but three or four yards more. I like no call there. A little slam down, but I'm all right with it. Yeah, I mean, hey, you guys just got away with a 15-yarder. That's no, there's no harm, no foul on that one. Great call, Boz. 335 left in this first quarter. SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter 
at 260 Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. Here's Kanapke. In the shotgun. Has Presley. Looks far side. Threw it wide. Was that a catch? How about the hands right there from number 12, Cameron Hedgecock. So he comes back after that drop C there and that drive previous and came up with a big catch there to at least give him some positive yardage. Definitely. Got to have faith in your guys. And Kanapke definitely has that. And Hedgecock proved him right there. Is he's a sure-handed guy. That one gains about three or four. He just keeps going out near that 30-yard line. And near a first down, third and short. Four lures once again. Let's see if they go to the run again. Here's Kanapke. He has Presley in the backfield. Pair of wide receivers to the far side. Lone wide receiver to the near side is Nate Moore. He's going to hand Presley, bounces it wide, easy first down, and more nice cut back in towards the hash mark, and then is finally taken down by the Marion Knights, but a beautiful run right there for the talented senior Jordan Presley. With Presley, with Presley you've seen it all this drive. I mean, he has all the skills you need. He's got the toughness to run through contact, and there you saw his speed to hit the edge and then cut up and get a huge gain for his team, and they're, they're not wasting any time. They're getting up to the line and ready to go. Presley, 11.09 yards coming in to tonight on the season. 12 touchdowns on the ground. Presley, nice cut. That cut right against the grain there. Got him another two, three yards. And we'll set up second and about three, four yards for the Knights as they're rolling and trying to get doubled up on that scoreboard. Minute 45, clock is rolling. Sean Boswell and Tim Atkinson here calling your action. Three wide receiver set. Kanapke in the shotgun. He's going to throw it. Waggles far, and he's just going to throw it out of bounds, live to fight another day as the snow continues to roll down here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We'll bring up third and five. 126 on the clock left in this first quarter. Big play here. Third, third and medium uh, for Lures. I would, I would have to think in this kind of – conditions it's a four down territory no matter where you are on the field I know Carter Drake has the leg but I'm four down territory here if I'm Lures in trouble but the screen was set up and Jordan Presley will do the rest Jordan Presley from 12 yards out another score for the senior Lures up 13 zip what a play call there from coach Lindsay knew that they were going to bring some pressure drew it up to perfection and let his playmaker do the rest. So 13-0 early. 118 left in this first quarter. And for the PAT, here is number 29, Carter Drake. With the boot. And that one squeezed in that far upright to make it 14-0. Let's head to our SummitCitySports.com replay. And sponsors, businesses, advertisers, this can be your named replay. As we'll slow it down here before you get it back. I've got to fix that. Here's Kanapke. Sold it so well. So did the line. And Presley, once he was there, he's going to make about anyone miss with that much space. Jordan Presley to the house from 12 yards. Great drive there from Lures overall. I mean, kind of seemed like maybe they got a little complacent after that first play score. And the next two drives, not, not really much going on, but they came out that drive on a mission and got it done. Walk, running up to the line, not wasting any time, and wearing down that Marion defense. And we'll see if that's going to take a lot out of you after that kind of drive. So 14 zip, Lures looking for re revenge from a year ago in the regional final where they were destroyed 30-7. to And the running game just was down their throat. This one kicked deep. And caught there at the 15-yard line. Bounces wide, does Gibson. And will be tackled right there at the 30, first and 10 for Marion. Let's take another look. SummitCitySports.com replay at that touchdown. Sell, sold nicely. Kanafke looked all the way near side and sold that nicely. And then Presley was not even touched all the way into the end zone for his second score of the game. 
I know Nagy is listed as the quarterback, and he's taken most of the reps, but the last two drives, 22, uh, Bratch. Brock. Brock has been in, and as you see on the the program, he has running back, wide receiver, quarterback, outside <laughs> linebacker. you got to love it. I mean, he's a utility for their <laughs> offense. But I wonder if something's going on with Nagy, if there's an injury or – because he's definitely played a factor. Like you mentioned, he was their only returning starter on the offense from last season as far as in the backfield. Yep, first and ten here for Marion. And it will be number 22, Brock, still in at quarterback. I think that's Anderson on his left hip. He'll hand. Nice hop step, but not enough going forward to be a yard gain, second and nine for Marion and they really need some offensive movement at least just to keep their defense off the field for several minutes would be a heck of an idea if you're the Marion Knights. Absolutely, they gotta be breathing heavy over there. That defense for the Knights. Second nine for Marion. Three wide receiver set, Brock. Play action right across the middle, nearly intercepted by Kamari Harris right through the hands of Kamari. I know he'll want that one back, the talented senior linebacker, 6'2", 209-pounder. As Alan Jackson, you take a look right there, trying to get the fans in it, but it is cold down there. Everybody's <laughs> bumbled up, bundled up by the coldest day so far. As we had woke up to snow this morning, our first snow here in Fort Wayne, Indiana on this new winter season. Three wide receiver set, third and nine for the Knights of Marion. Puts a man in motion, and then hands. Comes near side, right through that first hole, and then mop up by Kamari Harris. Talk about getting to the ball there for Kamari. Fourth and six for Marion, and they got a punt once again. Yeah, that's their third or fourth three and out for Marion. Just nothing going, and great defense. We mentioned, I mentioned it earlier before the before the broadcast. The team speed of Lures is just being put on full display here. Kamar Harris came all the way backside to track down that jet sweep. And that is the end of our first quarter. A great quarter for the Bishop Lures Knights. We'll take a break. <coughs> you are watching Indiana High School football right here from SummitCitySports.com. Only Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast. There is the punt, and that will be down by Marion. They're at the 11-yard line, so first and 10 to start this second quarter for the Knights. Looking to triple up right here on Marion as we start our second quarter, 11.52. Then all lures here early. Great punt from Renner. Put them all the way down inside their own 10, maybe, maybe, maybe 11. But uh, great, field, or great field position if you're Marion's defense here, but... You got, you got to do something with it because so far it's been all lures, as you said. We'll see if they can keep it up. Well, you see the snow there kind of swirling down there on f at field level. Winner of this game obviously will move on to semi-state as we'll go through the different looks. That one tipped. Intended for Justin Gaston will bring up second and ten on the incompletion. Good coverage there by Marion. Second and 10. 11.47 on the clock, 14-0. Huge possession for the Marion defense to get a stop. 
against Norman Kanapke and Jordan Presley because they've combined for both their touchdowns on passes. Four wide receiver set, spread, Kanapke, hands, Cowherd, Cowherd. Makes the first one miss, but not the seventh, second one. The big boy, Hemingway, the senior, with the tackle and will bring up third and nine, just a one-yard gain on that play. Big play for Marion defense here. Need a stop. Desperately need a stop here. Give your offense some good field position because Lures has struggled in the punting game thus far. So Knapp key. Spread formation again. Cowherd still in the backfield. Kanapke's going to look to throw. Surveys. Pressured. Looking for space and wanting to run it himself. Looking for the marker. And then he will slide right there beyond the first down. Marker heads up play. Norman Kanapke in the drive is alive. That's what you want from your senior quarterback. He's been doing it all year. Just making plays with his arm. But as you can see, he can do it with his feet as well. Everybody was covered pretty well. Great, great coverage. But she didn't have enough for the quarterback as he scrambled for a first down. First and 10, 14 0. Kanapke in the shotgun. 10 on the play clock. Play action goes to Hedgecock. And Hedgecock near that first down marker, just about a yard shy of it. Nice little slant and a beautiful throw from Kanapke. Boy, is this game different than a year ago as Mishawaka Marion just ran the ball all over Bishop Lewers. That has not been the case here tonight with Jackson, Sweeney, Derek, and Kamari Harris on defense. That has been too much. They back out. Hand off to Presley. Makes the first one miss and then is pushed out of bounds by the Knights. And they're going to keep the clock rolling. That's going to be third. There's about a six, maybe a half, half a yard gain there, just shy of the first down marker. It is third and shy. Whoa. No, they're going to say first down. So they will move the chains, first and 10 for lowers. Clock continues to roll, 9.56. Left in this second quarter, SummitCitySports.com. It's already getting foggy. <laughs> sure is. Unfortunately, you get a little fog out here inside the press box. Trying to peek through the window. Kanapke. Play action. Looking for a man. Finds one and threw it over the top of J. McJohnson. Will bring up second and ten. That one got away from Norman. A little bit off target. I'm sure if we had a turf surface or some kind of natural where there wasn't as much uh, muck going on down there, Johnson might have been able to make a play there. He tried to go back for it, make, maybe make a jump for it, but... Can't, can't fight the, the conditions we got here tonight. Three wide receiver set, Kanapke. He's going to hand to Presley. Presley bounces it wide, cuts it back in, and near that 40-yard line, I think he is tackled just shy of it at the 39. Bring up third and about seven, six here for Bishop Lures on this drive. Taking some clock time right here. Nate Moore. He checks in, he's running to that far side as Justin Gaston comes near side and will get a break on this third down play. Bishop Lures, Norman Kanapke, three wide receiver set. Presley's in the backfield on his right hip. Kanapke. Surveys, going deep. What a throw to Nate Moore. Nate makes a cut. Beautiful pitch and catch. Kanapke to Moore. What a throw and what a route. Nate Moore able to beat two or three defenders. Just He ran a straight post route. Nothing too fancy about it. No any fancy moves, but just with speed and on a dime, Kanapke put it to him in stride. So first and 10 for Bishop Lewers moving the ball once again. Already up two scores, 14 zip. That was a beautiful ball just thrown over the outstretched hands of a defender as we'll take a look, another look at it when we get a chance. That one, good play right up the gut. And another near first down. I think they'll give it to him. First down it is. Beautiful run for Lures and Presley. And right now moving the ball with ease, Boz. That play has been so good to them all year. That little delay counter. 
play, gets the defense on their heels, and all of a sudden you see Presley running right by you to the second level. So Kanapke calls out the play. Three wide receiver set. Presley in the backfield still. In motion, that's Johnson. Play action. And then hand to Presley. That was sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. And then Ooh. Presley, not all about speed, <laughs> kids. Lowers the boom there at the one oh. and has tackled just shy of that touchdown. You got to give it to him after a run like that. He, he ran that man over. That was tremendous. Not all about the speed. Jordan Presley shows you with the boom low on the shoulder. And touchdown. Lures in absolute domination up 20 zip with 7.45 left in this second quarter. Everything going right now for Lures. Couldn't have asked for a better first half from them offensively and defensively. Presley putting the team on his back, scoring three touchdowns already here in the first half. Two on the ground, one through the air. And for the PAT is Carter Drake. On the hold is Josh Dippold. So now Marion in a huge hole. Ball is up and did it fit in? It did just fit in. 21-0 Summit City Sports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way. Offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 21-0, Bishop Lures on top of the Marion Knights. 7.45 left in this contest, and the kick. I think that's Gibson on that far side. And does get knocked out of bounds at the 33. So first and 10. This is almost a do or die drive here for Marion. Yeah, boss? Absolutely. They haven't had any kind of momentum on the offensive end. Bishop Lures have been all over them, either in behind the backfield or right after a point of contact. But Knight's got to draw something up. You got, I mean, pull out a trick play or something. You have to get some kind of uh, swagger going for your team because it's not going either either side of the ball thus far. So first and 10. There's Brock at quarterback with number 20, Tyler DeBow, on his left hip. Waggles near side, thrown against his body, but his wide receiver slipped there at about the 43-yard line. That intended receiver was Maddox Bogunia. I'm sure I'm butchering that one. Well, that will be second and 10. So trying to throw on that first down, a little, try to get them caught off a little guard, but... Can't help, once again, conditions right there, Boz, right. once again, showing its face. I mean, yeah, they try to do something different than what they normally are known for, but I don't know, nothing's really going for them right now. Brock in the shotgun. He's going to keep it. It's a nice drawn-up play. Did the little play action, then followed his running back as a blocker, so that will make a more man manageable third down. Yeah, that's probably the best situation they've been on third down tonight. Uh, about third and four and a half, third and five, but big third down for Marion here. Got to pick it up. Do or die. Here early in the game. Seven minutes left in this second quarter. Man in motion. Completed. Nope, incomplete. Umpire is going to wave it incomplete. So fourth down near first down incomplete. And Marion will have to punt once again. Great drawn up play there. Had his man open for the first down, just unable to come down with it. 
Once again, ball a little wet. Took a hit after he caught it, but Marion really hurting after that, that three and out. The kick nearly blocked. And yeah, we're gonna have a flag, we will. And yeah, that's gonna be running into the kicker and it's fourth and four. It should be first down here for Marion. So maybe a little life for the Knights. So it will be a first down for Marion. They'll take whatever they can get at this point. And they'll see if they, like you said, give them some life here after picking up their first first down of the game late in the second half, second quarter, excuse me. So first and 10 for Marion. But Bishop Dwanger in absolute control. Oh, they're calling that a 15 yarder. Barely touched him. I don't even think he did touch him, but referee obviously staying right on top of it. The handoff right up the gut. Ball came out. Who's recovering? No, Marion did recover on the fumble. Already have signaled. There'll be a gain of about four for Marion. Need to keep this drive alive. That's the last thing you need after picking up a big first down to give the ball right back to Lures. But survived at that time. See if they can keep picking up three, three to four yards every time they carry it. So Bishop Dwanger now up. They're up 22-0 at halftime over Angola. That was just seconds ago. And another fumble. And Lures will take it. That was number 24, Nick Berkmeyer with the recovery. Just as things were going right, a fumble happens. And Lures back with the ball. 6.02 left in the second quarter. And the Lures fans are loving this. Man. I hate to say, I, mean, I might have jinxed them on that one. I don't even think they got the handoff solidly in hand before the ball hit the hit the field, and Lures is able to pick it up, first and 10. So first and 10 for Norman Kanapke, and watch him try to step on the throat of the Marion Knights here. Four wide receiver set, trips to your near side. I believe that's Kyle Hurd in the backfield on Kanapke's right hip. Kanapke takes a peek, goes out, out wide side, Trying to make a move, does, beautiful move, and out near that first down marker, Nate Moore showing you the yak right there for Lures. Great catch from Moore, and then able to make a man miss. Get a, pick up almost first down, bring up second, and very short. Second and one for Bishop Lures. Three wide receiver set to this near side, once again, loaned to that far. It's more. This handoff, Cowherd, big hole. They gashed him on that one. Just picking and picking, and then Cowherd finally breaks off a 15, 17 yard run, moving the chains. 5.23 left in this second half. And Marion does need to stop here. This Lures defense cannot afford to go down four touchdowns here in this first half. Kanafke, here's Presley, wants to make a cut, does. But once again, the field conditions are going to make them a step uh, a little bit slower, but that's going to be a, another first down for Bishop Lures and Norman Kanapke and his offense are rolling. What a catch there. I mean, all hands from Presley. You're seeing a lot of guys in these kind of conditions trying to catch it in with their body, but Presley shows... He's got the hands, caught it, got upfield for the first down, and like you said, they are rolling right now. So taking their time, under five minutes, 21-0. Kanapke with Cowherd on his right hip. He's going to hand Cowherd, makes the first one missed, and then is tackled by number 93, Mitchell Menting, for a minimal gain. Will bring up second and about eight for Lures. Clock continues to roll, 4.30 remaining in the second quarter. <laughs> Here.
Here's Kanapke. Presley back in. He's going to look near side. Nice catch by Hedgecock, but is tackled immediately by number nine, Michael Schnipple. Great catch from Hedgecock, too, but I don't know if he had a choice on catching that one. Kanapke put it on a rocket right into his arms, cradled it third and short. So the laser from Kanapke. I'm not sure what happened there. And I don't know if Norman Kanapke wasn't expecting the snap there or yeah. or what. But that's that was third down, so fourth down coming, and Carter Drake's going to come in for the field goal attempt. The ball's right there at the 15-yard line. 32-yarder coming from Carter Drake with this right boot. He did win a game in overtime for Lures during the season. Outstanding kicker. Carter Drake, the junior. <coughs> Dippold with the hold. It's got the distance and does squeak. No, it doesn't. No good. So a little bit of break there for Marion. They will take over first and 10 right there. We'll take a short break. SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. I mean, I always had my family behind me. I always had my team behind me. But to have staff that wanted the best for me and to get me feeling better the quickest was really reassuring. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price list. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Indiana High School football fans. 21-0. Lures missed the field goal. Now looking to throw a brat. Going deep. That's dangerous. Nearly intercepted by number six, Joe Derrick. As they aired it out there, did Brock, but nothing but speed for the Lures Knights. <laughs> yeah, try to go backside with a deep pass, but Joe Derrick last week made a huge interception. Wouldn't have been surprised if he came down with that one just out of the reach of his fingertips. Second and ten for Marion. Three wide receiver set, put a man in motion. That's Florin. High snap. Brock looking to throw wide and through the hands of his intended receiver, Florin, who was the man in motion. Third and ten for Marion. Clock stop, 3.03 left in this second quarter. Again, thanks for joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260Sports. Like and follow our Facebook page, Summit City Sports. And, of course, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Outstanding coverage tomorrow in high school girls basketball. I'll start the day off at noon out at Homestead High School where you'll see the number two ranked team in the state, the Homestead Lady Spartans. They will be hosting the Wayne Generals in an SAC conference matchup. And then 7 p.m., excuse me, 7.30 p.m., another SAC matchup. I'll be at Bishop Dwanger for the Snyder Panthers and the Bishop Dwanger Lady Saints. We'll take a break on that timeout. SummitCitySports.com. are running play coming home from the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration we are there summit city sports isn't just a business it's a group of companies investing in the youth of four wayne athletics it's because of parkview sports medicine welcome back ladies and gentlemen third and ten on their own 20 marion looked wide and now deep and that one intercepted what a play, and again, over through the intended receiver and the pick on that far side, and that is, that's Nate Moore in coverage over there, so a little bit of everything for the talented player, Nate Moore. What an interception. Read that, looked it all the way in his hands. Woo. Marin has still yet to complete a pass 
during this game. I know they're not known for completing passes, but they're going to have to if they want to end up coming back on this Lures high-powered offense. This is the regional final winner. We'll move on to semi-state loser. Will unfortunately have their season end. Uh, short gain for Lures, 250 on the clock. Be about a three-yard gain. Bring up second and seven. For most teams, they'd be hurrying up, trying to figure something out with this much time. But for Lures, that's almost too much time. They'll score in a jiffy, no doubt. So Lures, Norman Kanapke has Cowherd in the backfield. Uh-oh, Kanapke and another one. This one on second and seven. Picking up another first down on the run and the slide. Beautiful play by Norman Kanapke. Great read. I mean, I haven't seen that much this season, but, I mean, I wouldn't be against it because all obviously defenses are going to crash on the two great running backs they have in the backfield, and Kanapke able to make a play with his feet. Kanapke looking to throw once again. Scrambled under pressure, nearly lost his footing. Makes the throw across the middle. Beautiful job by Johnny Sewell, and he's still off. Over the 15, Woo. near the 10, and tackled right at the 10-yard line. How about number... There's a flag down. Number four, Johnny Sewell. But we're going to have a flag, and this looks like a hold. Which would be a 10-yard penalty from the spot. And that's exactly what that will be. So that will, no, that will void out. That beautiful run by Sewell. You saw Kanapke in pressure right there, and Sewell looks like he broke off his route, gave Norman Kanapke at least an option, and just got busted for some holding. Absolutely. I mean, that's, that's scramble drill 101. Kanapke able to get out of a sack attempt, and then you know what you do as a receiver, you just got to find open space, and Sewell did that beautifully, and Kanapke able to put it on him. Too bad for the penalty, but still a great first down here for Lures. 135 left in this first half. Kanapke puts Presley in motion. Play action to him. Going deep across the middle. Oh, Boom! Nearly one-handed catch. Pulled in by J. McJohnson just off the fingertips. Or oh, that would have been a highlight reel right there. Easy. No doubt. J. Johnson, that one stuck to his hand for a while before it fell to the turf eventually. That will bring up second and 10 for Lures. Looking to pass once again. Dumps it off near side to Cowherd. Lowers his shoulder. Still in bounds out near that 20 yard line. It's tackled at the 20. Nice little extra effort by Cowherd. Well, that will bring up third and about three for Bishop Lures. 104. And I think Mishawaka Marion is going to take a timeout. Nope, Bishop Lures will take the timeout to talk about it, as will we. SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. I mean, I always had my family behind me. I always had my team behind me. But to have staff that wanted the best for me and to get me feeling better the quickest was really reassuring. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Third and two for the Knights. Three wide receiver set. Kanapke. Hands Presley. Presley lowers the shoulder, and he'll get that first down marker. 
Beautiful play. Fifth ball be spotted at the 15-yard line. First and 10 for the Knights. And a little extracurricular. I don't think we're going to have another timeout called by the Lures. Let's wait for the signal. And as we take a peek at the white hat. And as they want to reset of the clock. So at 49 right now on the clock. We'll move it to 55 seconds per the referee's request. So first and 10 from the 15. Four wide receiver set. Trips to that far side. Kanapke in the backfield with Presley. As we're going to have to take a... Official timeout here. I think they're trying to figure out the. So they will get 55 seconds put back on the clock, and we are back to the action. 21 0, Bishop Lures. Looking for another nail put in right here. If they can get this ball in the end zone with 50 seconds left in this second quarter, two timeouts still remaining. Comes near side and just overthrown. Looking for Hedgecock. We'll bring second and ten. No Bishop Lures up 21 zip. And of course, the other half of that bracket is West Lafayette and Brebuff Jesuit. If Brebuff wins, Lures would head there. And if West Lafayette wins, they would host. West Lafayette right here at Bishop Lures High School. Kanapke looking to throw once again. Pressured, steps up in the pocket. Looks for Presley. Why not? Touchdown number four. Jordan <laughs> Presley, 19 yards out for the score. What a dime from Kanapke. A little wheel route from Presley, and that is his fourth touchdown of the first half. What a play by a primetime player. 37 seconds remaining in this second quarter. And Norman Kanapke once again to Jordan Presley. And for the PAT is Carter Drake. Boot is up and it is good. 28-0. Couldn't ask for a better start if you're Bishop Lures. Let's take another look at it on our SummitCitySports.com replay. Presley out of the backfield, as you mentioned, on that little wheel route. Kanapke, subtle, just steps up in that pocket to give himself that extra time to find Presley and then threw a strike right on the money. Right, a little touch right over those two defenders' arms. And it's all lures in this first half. That is, that's almost the nail in the coffin. Um, obviously, it's a long game. Second half, anything could happen. But Marion literally has not had one positive aspect to look at. So we'll see what they end up saying at halftime as Coach Davidson has his hands full during this matchup with the Lures Knights. So Marion down in a huge hole with 37 seconds left in this first half. SummitCitySports.com. John Podzelinski to kick as the wind blew it off the tee. So they'll reset it, and Podzelinski with the right boot. Let's see what Mishawaka Marion, they need a good return here. As Boz has mentioned, still no completions in the passing game. And that'll be knocked out of bounds near the 35, make it marked at the 35 yard line, first and 10 for Marion. They do have two timeouts remaining but only 30 seconds left. Yeah, if I'm Marion, I don't really want to take any extra risk right here. Risk a pick and a big play or a turn from Lures. They have the athletes to do it. So I'm, I'm, I'm running it out the clock, going into going to the locker room and see if we can get somebody fired up, get some life going in the second half. And also Bishop Lures will receive, excuse me, no, they will kick the Opening kickoff of the second half, so Mishawaka Marion will get possession 
to start the second half. Brock in the shotgun, looking to throw. Yeah, that one wide, just no spacing. A lot of jumbled up there on that same side, on that far side. Really surprised the play call, honestly. I mean, the play, they ran that play at least four times with no success and one interception on it. So, I don't know. If I'm Coach Davidson, like I said, I'm, I'm running this ball. Maybe break one, but play it safe here. Down 28. So Brock in the shotgun once again, three wide receiver set. He's going to draw, keeps it himself, and that will be tripped up. And you may just want to take it into the into the house right here, 18 seconds remaining. You know, let's see what they choose to do, head coach Michael Davidson and company. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to run this one out. And that will be the end of our first half. What a half it was. For head coach Kyle Lindsay in the Bishop Lures Knights. We're going to take a break here from Bishop Lures and join you as we get closer to the second half. You are watching Indiana High School football right here from SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting me up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. 
Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. Both runners are running, play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today.
When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 But this is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions. They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne Mad Ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com. Coming to you live from Bishop Lures High School, where it has been all Bishop Lures here in the first half. 28-zip, Jordan Presley, unstoppable. 
but Norman Kanapke throwing the ball like none other. Let's take a look at their first score, first play of scrimmage. Norman Kanapke to Jordan Presley. This is Presley's first touchdown of four. And look at that seam route, beautiful throw right in the money. One cut, and then no one can catch the talented senior. And that was how the game started, and the whole half progressed that way as well. So Lures right now in prime position to get a regional final championship and move on to semi-state where they will play the winner of West Lafayette and Brebuff Jesuit. West Lafayette was up 14-3 over Brebuff at halftime. So if these both those scores stay similar, Lures will host West Lafayette next Friday night. And that will be live on SummitCitySports.com as well. Other matchups right now, Snyder and Carmel, end of the third quarter. Carmel right now leading 13-0. So Snyder still in that ball game down at Carmel High School. And Bishop Dwanger absolutely rolling. Are the Saints, it was 37 zip, something like that. Uh, towards the end of the third quarter. So Mishawaka Marion needs to start out with some good positive yardage, and they do it on the return. So good field position to start this second half on their own 45 first and 10, Boz. Yeah, we saw Brock take majority of the quarterback reps in the first half. This is a running back first, but he's a great athlete. He's been able to get out of the pocket, but has not completed a single pass the entire first half. So... The one he did complete to the opposite team. So we'll see if they can get something going. I mean, this first drive is essential for Coach Davidson and his Knights going against this talented Lures defense. Also, just one first down in that first half as well for Marion. So fighting an uphill battle against this Bishop Lures defense as they are manhandling on the run and forcing the path against Marion. So second and 10 on the incompletion. They do come out and pass, but nothing going. Second and 10. Of course, big shout out to our title sponsor, Parkview Sports Medicine. Check them out, parkviewsportsmedicine.com. Brock, smack by Will Derrick. That's going nowhere. Tremendous play by the lineman, Will Derrick. Nothing really changing here for Lures defense. They are still hovering all over the backfield of the Marion Knights, and that's what you like to see if you're Coach Lindsay. That, yeah, you sometimes you go into halftime, cold night, you get a little warmed up, you don't want to come back out, but it's exactly what Lures is showing that they're not doing. Third and ten, eleven fifteen left in this third quarter. Brock taking a peek right across the middle, another. Throw it right behind. A little miscommunication, obviously, between him and the wide receiver will bring up fourth and ten. And yet again, another three and out for the Knights. The only first down, like you said, <laughs> was off a penalty. And now you have to kick it off to the deadly Presley, who scored four touchdowns on you. And then also you have Gaster back there, who anytime he touches the ball can end up in the end zone. So the snow has stopped here in Fort Wayne for the time being. Yeah, that one kicked, high kick, bounces at the 30. Uh, Marion bounce and then will be downed. Uh, some big wind just got kicked up, as you see. <laughs> some of the napkins floating around there in your picture. So Lures, big stop to start this second half. And now we'll start their first possession of the third quarter with 10.50 left in it. 28-0 is our score. Defense came out, did their job there on the first drive for Lures. Now it's up to the offense, see if they can keep that, that momentum and that life going, see if they can put up another score. I mean, if you are Lures, I mean, who, who do you throw to? I mean, you got, you got so many weapons, obviously, and then you have Presley as your safety net who scored all four of your touchdowns. It's just Kanapke has an endless amount of talent around him. Four wide receiver set, trips to the near side. Kanapke's going to throw right away. That's a little hitch route. Will be about a four-yard gain on that far side. So good first down play on the hitch route. Will bring up second and about seven, six yards for Norman Kanapke and his Knights. 
Again, thanks for joining us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. SummitCitySports.com. We'll have basketball coverage tomorrow, girls basketball at noon. Wayne at Homestead. And then 7.30 p.m., Snyder at Dwanger. Gaston on the little jet sweep. Nice tackle, but he's near that first down marker. And I think it will be a first down. It will be a first down for Lures to continue this drive. 10.08 left in this third quarter. They flip-flop the set, the formation, I should say. Kanapke, he's going to hand to Cowherd. Cowherd lowers his shoulder, gets out near the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of three for Cowherd, and he's been a nice mix-up in the backfield from Presley. Great change of pace back. I mean, obviously Presley has all the tools. He has the power, he has the speed, he has the shiftiness, but Cowherd more of a power runner at six foot, 184 pounds. That's a big back to try to bring down, and he definitely runs behind his pads well. A little change of pace. Sure is, second and seven. Spread formation. Cowherd, that's a play action. And a miscommunication with Kanapke and Hedgecock near side. Is now Hedgecock and Presley are talking about so a little miscommunication will bring up third and seven for Bishop Lures on their first drive to start this third quarter. Jay McJohnson comes in to replace Jordan Presley. Plenty of time on the play clock, still 20 on it. Big shout out, athletic director Kevin Godfroy is an outstanding host here at Bishop Lures High School, whether we're out here or in the side on the hardwood. Kanapke. Man to man, had his guy beat near side, but the pressure, and once again, a scramble. And that's going to be a flag, a 15 yarder after the end of the run. L spot it right there at the 50. So 35, the ball will be spotted on. I think I saw what you saw. You saw Hedgecock down here, one on one, beat his man deep on the post. But great awareness for Kanapke still to be able to step up in the pocket and get that first down and then just. Just a, not a very smart play by Marion's defense. Lures doesn't need any help to move the ball, and you don't so need. So doubt about 15, that. Yeah, you don't need to give him 15 extra yards, and they're moving. So first and ten on the 35-yard line of Marion. Bishop Lures already up 28-0, and I'm sure sure uh, Lures player other than Presley wants to taste the end zone <laughs> as we have four wide receivers set. Cowherd in the backfield with Kanapke. Norman Kanapke, he has thrown some beautiful balls here tonight in this cold weather. And there's another one just a little bit off the outstretched hands of Nate Moore. We'll bring up second and 10. Nate Moore's had a nice game as well offensively and, of course, had that interception to stop the drive in that second quarter late to get the ball back to put him up 28-0. And that's our score still. Just under nine minutes left in the third. Four wide receivers set. Once again, Kanafke, he may be changing the play here. Kanafke. Here comes a blitz from Marion, and Cowherd went right opposite of it, and boom, out to the 25 yard line. Tackle just shy of it. They'll spot him at the 26. He'll be about a half yard shy of that first down marker will be third and one. Great check from Kanapke. Obviously, he saw something. Coaches maybe on the sideline saw it. Quick snap for Kanapke to Cowherd and first down. Bishop Lures, beautiful quick snap right there, Boz. Definitely. I mean, Marion's back on their heels, trying to, trying to collect themselves, and Lures isn't wasting any time to try to get that ball moving for that first down. So eight and a half minutes. Clock rolling, first and ten. Here's Norman Kanapke. Beautiful drive here to start there. First one of the third. Kanapke looking out wide, and that one is probably the one he'd love to have back, just widely thrown. No chance for the receiver on that. Yeah, he had his man open. He had Nate had separation over on the top of the screen. Kanapke might have got a little hurried, but uh, he hasn't missed much tonight, so can't can't be too hard on him. Second and 10. 
That game is about over there at Carmel High School. Carmel scores again. They're up 20 to zip with 6-12 left in the game. So it looks like Snyder will end their season right there. Kanapke, the fumble, and then smartly just falls on it. But, boy, Justin Gaston was wide <laughs> on that far side, and he knew he could have taken that to the house if he got it. Yeah, absolutely. They were looking for a little trickeration there on a reverse, unable to get the handle of the ball. Man, Gaston, like you said, these other guys on the team were looking for the end zone, and at this point, Presley's just being greedy, scoring all the touchdowns. So third and extremely long. They're calling it 17. Kanapke looking to throw, crossing routes, and then a low ball near the original line of scrimmage. Good catch by Gaston. But that will be spotted at the, was that the 25-yard line, fourth and about 12. You've got to go for it here if you're Coach Lindsey. Carter Drake has a great leg. Did miss the first one, but there's no point in punting. So draw something up, maybe a little like comeback down the, on the sideline there for Nate Moore. Try to pick up this first. 7-10 left in this third quarter. Kanapke, fourth down and 12. Looking to throw. Comes near side and just airmailed that one. Looking for Jay McJohnson. And that'll be a turnover on downs. Good job from the Marion Knight defense. Great job of the Marion defense. I mean, definitely allowed some yards. Ben, but don't break is a lot of defensive coordinator strategies. And they did that perfectly right there and maybe give some life to the team as the offense comes out and needs to get a first down so first and 10 for Marion ball is on the 25 yard line and they need to score in a hurry here so here comes Brock still in at quarterback so Angola finally scores against Dwanger. It is 37-7 now. Uh, Dwanger will be traveling. Nice pump fake. Oh, no. And then airmail. What a play. Justin Gaston and the second interception by Lures. That one, Gaston for the pick. What a play by Gaston. Stayed with it all the way across the field. It was some kind of throwback with the tight end drag, and Gaston never gave up on the play. And when the ball was lost in the air like that, he went up and got it, won that 50-50 ball, and Lures is back in business just like that. So first and 10, Lures right back with the ball and looking to score once again. Presley still hasn't touched the field here in the second half yet on offense. Kanapke looking to throw man-to-man. -man. And that's going to be an offensive pass interference, I believe, called by the back judge as Hedgecock got that left arm out and was definite. that was a definite push-off. Yep, they will call this on Lures, and I believe that is a good call by that back judge. It was right in front of him. Great call. I mean, all of a sudden you saw all this separation. He was yeah. running step for step, and all of a sudden Hedgecock just five-yard separation. So good call by the, the back judge. Kanapke just put a little bit too much on that, but I mean, as a receiver, if you're not trying to get a little physical, then you're not doing your job. But uh, great call and brings up second and very long. So first and about 127 yards. Kanapke hands Gaston. Gaston bounces it wide. Cuts it back in, runs through a tackler, and then pushed out of bounds. That was a beautiful job. Hard to tackle Gaston. That looked like that was Gibson that came up, put the hit on him, but Gaston did nothing but go forward. He's so fast. I mean, it's just a different level of speed once he gets the ball in his hands as he was weaving through the defense on that run. So 640 left to go in this third quarter. Kanapke puts Johnson in motion. They're setting up a screen here to Gaston and just threw it behind him. Good pressure from Marion. I believe that was number 34 that got in the backfield, Thomas Ewing, the junior. And he's had a heck of a game for Marion. 
definitely. Always making a presence in the backfield. He hasn't got a sack yet, but it's not always about that. It's about hurrying the quarterback, making him make some uh, hurried throws like that, a little bit off target. Another player that made a great play on that big 73, uh, Kelvin Hemingway, read that screen from the jump. Even if Presley was to catch that one, I don't think he would have got very far. That's the analysis there from Sean Boswell, former <laughs> player at the University of St. Francis. Always thanks for joining us here, Boz. Appreciate you guys having me. That one incomplete double covered on this near side. So clock will stop with 6.32 left in this third quarter. 28-0 still for Lures and putting situation here fourth in about 18. Kanapke is the punter as well, so would makes be, it nice. I wouldn't be surprised if they do a little pooch punt here, but maybe they'll go for it. I'm not sure. Three wide receiver set. I think uh, I think you're right here about the pooch. And yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. <laughs> Kanapke mishit that one. And then bounced <laughs> wide and went off of Moore and will be downed. Just give it a little nudge forward, pick up an extra five <laughs> yards on the punt. Worth a shot. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, of course, tonight's broadcast brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. None of this would be possible without Parkview Sports Medicine, who continues to lead the way in northeast Indiana. Our specialized sports medicine team offers direct access to physical therapy and sports physicians in our new Parkview Ortho Express Clinic located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse. No referral needed, saving you time and money. Visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more. Six twenty-four. Bounces wide. There's a little bit of a nice run, about a nine, ten yard run. I think that was Anderson. Nope, it was not. Yeah, it was Anderson. Trust the gut. So eight yard run, make it nine yards, second and one. Nice misdirection call there. I mean, picked up about nine yards, and I think I just heard somebody say this probably was the biggest gain on the night for Marion. Let's see if they can capitalize on that. Oh, there's no doubt about that. And then a fumble. Of course, there's nothing consecutively going right here for the Marion Knights. As Bishop Lewis got to be feeling good about the revenge game right here. Of course, as they did lose in regional finals last year, right here on this field against this same squad, 30 to seven. Yeah, you think they remember that game? Uh, yeah, there's <laughs> no doubt about that. We were live right here, SummitCitySports.com. As we are also down at Carmel High School for Snyder and Carmel, as Carmel's in control, 20 nothing there in the fourth quarter, and also at New Haven High School, as he slips in the backfield, just about. Right to the line of scrimmage will be fourth. No, they're going to call that a little bit of a loss. Fourth and three. But also out at New Haven as Bishop Dwanger's hosting the Angola Hornets. And Dwanger was up 37-7 last check in the fourth. 4.53 left in this third quarter, 28-0. No, like, go ahead, sorry, boss. Sorry. No, like you said, I mean, pick up nine yards, first down something positive and then a fumble and then a yep. negative play. So nothing really going positive consecutively for Marion. And then a sh really short punt. And that bounces wide and will be down by Marion. And that will be down at the 47 yard line for Marion first and 10. It's about their best field position they've had. Maybe get a little live couple positive plays here, put one in the end zone. You never know what could happen. Absolutely. Came out a little cold on offense. They, they definitely moved the ball. It's just once they've gotten down there, they haven't really capitalized on opportunities. Penalties have hurt for sure. Um, let's see if they can finish one off. I'm sure Coach Lindsey's been talking to him on the sideline, saying we got to finish this one. So 429, first and 10 for Norman Kanapke. Cowherd's in the backfield. Three wide receiver set for the Knights. He's going to play action, keeping himself far side. Kanapke. Gets a good block from Nate Moore and takes it out to that first down marker. And maybe that wasn't a good block because uh, we got a flag thrown. That looked pretty clean to me. I thought he used his body position well. But once again, a great read from Kanapke. Didn't really see that much during the season, but a great adjustment. I'm sure they picked up on that during the course of the year. Everybody's going to crash on those talented backs they have. But unfortunately, that one's going to be called back after a block in the back call. I, I don't know. I thought Nate Moore used his body position pretty well, but... 
No, it, also, it also looked like the defender turned on him right at the point of contact. Yeah. But obviously our vote doesn't count. Right. The only <laughs> vote that counts is the Zebras. So that will be – that was a spot foul. So it's going to be first and 12 on the 48-yard line of Marion. Here comes Bishop Lewers, Kanapke. Play action to Cowherd, the quick out. I believe that's Moore. Makes the first one miss. He can take this the distance. Oh, yeah. Nate Moore is gone. 48-yard touchdown <laughs> for Nate Moore like a jet. Man, he made that one guy miss and just all of a sudden took off. What a play. Good design, a little play action. Get him out there quick and let your playmakers make plays. And That's exactly what Nate Moore did. So 48 yards. Nate Moore makes the first one miss and then boom, gone. <laughs> woo -hoo. He is a tremendous player and has been all year long and just a junior, kids. He'll be back next year. Finally, somebody else touched the end zone other than uh, Presley. And that one is good. 35 nothing here, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way, offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Kickoff is fumbled and then tackled after about a seven-yard run. So first and 10 for Marion. Down 35 zip with 353. All oh, lures continues to roll here, Boz. Yeah, at this point, I mean, I hate to say it, just, you're playing for pride now. I mean, it's definitely a cold night. A lot of guys maybe don't necessarily want to be out there. But for these seniors, you got to finish strong. Yes. You, you've been outmatched this entire game, but now you take it. Let's win this this last section of the game, a little bit late in the third quarter. Let's win the third and fourth quarters, and we'll, it'll be a moral victory, if anything. So West Lafayette up over Burbuff right now, 17-3. So if that holds, as we expect this one to hold as well, uh, is that one incomplete once again? But if it does hold both games, then Lures will get to host the semi-state next Friday against West Lafayette which, of course, will be live from SummitCitySports.com. Looks like Snyder will end their season down in Carmel. So it will just be two matchups next Friday as Bishop Dwanger will either head to Mishawaka or head to Lowell. In Class 4A, Brock, there's a completion out wide and a first down. That was Franklin on the reception. First and 10 for Marion, 342 left in the third. Yeah, and there it is, first completion of the of the ball game, and let's see if they can build some some more momentum off of that, get this thing moving and try to get in the end zone, put some points up. Snyder did score in that game. It's 20-6 to with 325 left to play. Just not enough time there. Incomplete, intended receiver was number 11. That'll be huge. DJ Nash, sorry boss. That'll be huge if uh, West Lafayette does end up holding on and get a home game for Lures, uh, as we'll have at least one home home game next, year, right. next week in Fort Wayne action. Like you mentioned, Dwanger has to be away no matter who wins on the other side of that one. But as you're seeing, you're seeing those uh, – the Blue Bloods, as yes. I've, I've heard it time and time again, they are the ones that are having such success in the postseason. So Brock, he'll keep it. 
you know, gain about two yards. We'll bring up fourth and eight for Marion. Bishop lures just every facet of the contest right now. And domination in getting their revenge here on the loss a year ago. Don't forget, we'll be live for high school girls basketball tomorrow. I have two games on my slate at noon. I'll be live from Homestead High School for Wayne at Homestead. You do not want to miss one of the best players in the country in the freshman class, and Ayanna Patterson for Homestead. And then 7.30 will be at Dwanger for Snyder and Dwanger. Nice tip away by Jay McJohnson. But that was a good throw that time from Brock. Yeah, that was a great throw, but even better coverage by Johnson. He was on that from the jump. I think that's 13, the receiver. It was. Uh, Maddox Bagania. Uh, got his hands on it, but Jamie Johnson ripped and rattled. I've heard the DBs use that term many times, but uh, great play from him. And now they're going to have to punt it away yet again. So back deep is Presley and Gaston. Four lures. The snap, low snap. Good kick. Boomed kick. Great hang time. Gaston. Oh, that's dangerous. That's about the one silly thing that Lures has done all night. But Gaston does recover, <laughs> and it will be first and ten for Bishop Lures. <laughs> like you said, uh, they make a mistake, and they still get the ball back. So that's just the kind of night it is tonight for Bishop Lures. They came in wanting some revenge, and I think they've got it so far. I mean, they got a little bit of time left, but they've played tremendously up to this point. So Carmel does defeat Snyder 20-6. to That is a final down there at Carmel High School. So good season by Snyder. Just coming up short once again down at Carmel. So first and 10 on the 28. So Kanapke in the shotgun. He's going to hand to Cowherd. Cowherd makes the first one miss. Will gain about two and a half. Three yards for Cowherd. What makes this Lures team so so great is just the depth. You haven't seen Presley on the offense this entire second half, and they're still moving the ball with ease. I mean, just they have so much talent in so many different places. There's no doubt about that. Just need to stay in bounds. We may have a hold on this near side. And there's the whistle. And we'll see what the call is thrown by this near side line judge. That will be a hold. Spot foul, 10 yards for Lures. 216 left in this third quarter. <laughs> Bishop Lures started about as well as you can on the first play of scrimmage. Dropped a bomb. Norman Kanapke to Jordan Presley. It was his first touchdown of his four on the night. 28-0 halftime lead and the one score by Nate Moore here in the third quarter and in control and looking for this regional championship. Update from New Haven as Bishop Dwinger now up 40-7 to over Angola. So that was a rematch from a regional final a year ago as well. And Dwinger doing the exact same thing, 40-7. to Kanapke deep, looking for Hedgecock. Oh, that's a flag. And that's going to be pass interference, and I don't think he even needed to do that. I think that was overthrown just by a step or two, but that was an easy call and a good one by that back judge. Yeah, he's been pretty solid back there for the referee, but, yeah, he didn't need to – he did not need to grab Hedgecock like right. he did, but I think he's just not been happy the way he's been getting beat yeah. <laughs> in, and, in and out of this game. So first and 10 as they'll mark it at the 46-yard line. Lures. Gaston in the backfield. Kanapke. He'll hand to Gaston. Gaston wants to bounce it wide. Good pursuit. Ooh, made two miss. Cut it in. How about that move from <laughs> Justin Gaston? No one was even close after he made that cut. Tremendous move. I mean, you got Presley, obviously, is uber talented. But then I, I honestly think Gaston's one of the more fun guys to watch with the ball in his hand. He just can always has a threat to take it to the end zone. And the things he does with it are amazing. No question about it. 
just stopped on a dime, and that is hard to do in these field conditions as well. And Kanapke again, that's a fourth time keeping it and for a first down. Let's go back to that score from Nate Moore on our SummitCitySports.com replay. And watch Norman Kanapke on the play action. Got it out of his hand quick. And then Moore, one cut, it was gone. That kid is a speedster. And he's been doing that all season long for head coach Kyle Lindsey. Definitely a breakout year for him. I feel like he has shown his worth game and game no out. Doubt. I mean, him and Hedgecock on the outside are serious weapons. So 35 zip, first and 10 for Norman Kanapke. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Pat Wright on the camera, Sean Boswell calling your color, and Tim Atkinson here with your play-by-play. -play. That was a good piece of defensive tackling on the defensive line by number 62, Paul Klein. 36 seconds, clock rolling. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's right there at the same time, so they will not have to run another play of this quarter. So at the end of the third, Bishop Lures. 35, Mishawaka, Marion, zero. You are watching Indiana High School playoff football right here from SummitCitySports.com. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 12 more minutes of game action remaining in this Class 3A regional final right here from Bishop Lures High School. Sean Boswell, Tim Atkinson here. Enjoying this beautiful offensive output from Jordan Presley and Norman Kanapke and company. Good tackle on the penetration as Cower lost about three, four yards on that run. They snuffed that one out from the beginning. Uh, they've seen that. Action, a little fake jet sweep, dive a few times now, and great read by the Marion defense. So third and extremely long for Bishop Lures. 30 seconds into this fourth quarter, Bishop Lures in absolute control, and their fans will get a treat because they will have another home game of this 2018 season and one step closer to Lucas Oil. Here's Kanapke, three wide receivers set. He's going to look to throw, setting up a screen to Gaston. Gaston with the catch, has blockers and space. Off to the races. Justin Gaston to the house. Are you serious, Justin Gaston? What a play. Great draw. First of all, the screen has worked for them throughout this game, but then all you got to do is give Gaston the ball with the seam, and he hit it so fast. I want to see him and Nate Moore race after, <laughs> after the game, post-game. Need a little 40-yard dash. SummitCitySports.com, we can stick around. We'll make yeah. that happen. <laughs> make it a little event. Need some sponsors. So 41-0. Trying to make it 42 is Carter Drake. And that one is good. 42-0. What a play. Let's go to our SummitCitySports.com replay for this screenplay from Norman Kanapke as they have been selling it, as you mentioned, been selling it all game long. You can see this one coming, Gaston, nice little catch, turn, and you think some, you know, a couple players have an angle, but no, they do not. <laughs> he turns that angle into a straight line and Gaston to the house. So fast, I mean, 
I can't mention it enough, the, the amount of speed this team has. And I really think they are poised to make a deep playoff run. Obviously, they are. I mean, they're about to go to semi-state next week. But the amount of talent they have in all the different areas no is doubt. just incredible at the 3A level. No doubt about that. Sean Boswell there. So in the kick is Podzelinski for the Knights. And three deep for Marion. So the kick, Podzelinski with the right boot. Squiver, low one. Bounces about seven times. Goes to Gibson. Gibson tried to bounce it wide, spun back, and just over the 30-yard line to the, about the 31 will be first and 10 for Marion with 10.59 left in this game. So what a... All around game here for head coach Kyle Lindsay and the Bishop Lures Knights. They are going to be extremely pleased too once they watch this film, this game film, as they have pretty much dominated as they were last year. So they have made the statement and dominated and got their revenge. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to think back and look at really any kind of mistakes they had. Yes, I'm sure they got to clean some things up fundamentally, but offensive, defense, special teams, they have dominated, like you said. Rock, and he's going to be hit by Jackson. No gain. That was Jackson in big number 73 for Lures, Ben Rectanus. Here comes Marion. And Brock, nothing going. Defensive line for Bishop Lures. They have just been winning that fight all game long, Boz. Yeah, I mean, every facet. Their D-line, their linebackers have filled when they've needed to. They really haven't had to that much. And then their defensive backs have made plays when they have to. Obviously only giving up one completion this entire game with two interceptions. <laughs> I mean, you have more catches than your receivers are guarding. That's, that's a great accomplishment for this Lures defense. So a loss of one, third and 11 for Marion. Brock looking to throw. Deep, far side. Came back for the ball nicely, and that's a 50-50 ball, so that'll be a catch and a completion for Marion. Nice job by number 13 to go up to get that ball, Bo Genia. I think you might have heard me say he had more catches than the receivers. <laughs> that was a great catch. That was an outstanding catch. And good coverage, yeah, too, by coverage. Johnson. Went up, tried to high point the ball, but just was out jumped. Yeah. A little bit of a height disadvantage, but hopefully he's okay. He's on the, he's on the ground right now. 9.35 as we do have a official timeout as Johnson shaking up on that far side. I think he might have just lost his breath or something, landed on his stomach, ball in his stomach or – it does have a little bit of limp in his gait there. What well, is coming off the field on his own power? 937. So Bishop Dwanger moves on to semi state. They will either be at Lowell High School or Mishawaka High School. For these Bishop Lewers Knights, they will be hosting what looks like will be West Lafayette as they are up on Brebuff Jesuit. That game will be played right here at Lures High School. And, of course, Snyder does end their season tonight at Carmel. As they drop that game 20-7, to and that could have been a push-off call as well, but give them, give them a little bit there. Yeah, show them some love. I mean, haven't really got a lot going. But that was, that was a good ball, good play yeah. design. Way to come back and get the ball for a receiver. Is that Maddox, Pagonia again? It was. Nice. Pagonia with another beautiful play on the ball. Looking for the sneak there. It was first and goal from the eight-yard line. Gain of about three. So second and goal. So. 
So Brock second and goal from the five yard line, 847 left in the game. Of course, we did have a late start here. 730 was our kickoff to let Mitchell walk and Marion and their fans get down here to Fort Wayne, Indiana. About an hour and 40 minutes, hour and a half away north. That one tipped and somehow came up with <laughs> it. And does he get in? He does. That was Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Eddie Murphy with the touchdown. Beautiful on the tip. Man, these teams have some great names. <laughs> get a little plug in there for Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Beautiful job by Murphy. And that will do, Donkey. <laughs> Good to see Mishawaka or Marion score some points here late in the late in the game. Yeah. Eight twenty nine left in it. Hunter Renner is blocked. Mario Harris got oh. up and got that one. Didn't have to go up too high, but still credited Kamari. with the block. No doubt about it. 42-6. Kamari Harris gets a piece of it, but let's take another look at that touchdown on our SummitCitySports.com replay. Brock tipped at the line of scrimmage. Concentration as Gaston was just overpowered. And then the score, Mishawaka Marion finally gets on the board. PAT is blocked. But 42-6 is where we sit. 8.29 left in the game. Not quite enough time for Lures to run it out, but I'm sure that's we'll see a run heavy off the strategy. But I bet we'll probably see an onside kick here. This is only the second kickoff they've had to do this matchup. Almost got the sky kick in the first, first kickoff of the game. game but yeah. I bet they make some adjustments. Coach Lindsay gets his hands team out there and trying to secure this ball. Here is Hunter Renner to kick it. And here comes the onside. Takes a nice bounce, but right there, Justin Gaston. He'll down it at the 46 yard line, first and 10 for Lures. Grace, heads up play by 24, Nick Berkmeyer. Had a chance, he could have lunged at that one, tried to pick it up for himself, been the hero, but it would have probably been a too hot to handle. Let it go through the first line, get to your trusty guy in Gaston, and Lewis takes over, 45. We definitely want to give a shout out, of course, to the parents of Eddie Murphy, just for naming him Eddie. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tremendous. Top 10 name here in Northeast Indiana, no doubt. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right up the gut there. And that, as they're going to try to run the clock out here, just a yard gain. We'll bring up second and nine. Clock rolls with 8.15 left in the ball game. Fly back at quarterback now for Lures. He's, he's a shifty guy. He can make some plays back there. I've seen some highlights of him throughout the season because Lures has been so successful. Yeah. They've got to get those second stringers a good amount of opportunity throughout the season. So here is Christian Fly in at quarterback. As the second string in here, backups for the Knights of Lures. And he'll keep it. And another yard gain. Nope, about back to the line of scrimmage. Actually, he'll bring up third and nine. 7.30 left. Seven twenty, uh, as they'll tick this down as much as they can. Twenty on the play clock for Christian Fly. Bishop Lures four touchdowns from Jordan Presley as he continues his offensive outpouring of touchdowns. The kid does nothing but score. What a oh, wow. player! And that one's complete. Near side to Sewell. And that'll be first down for Lures. 
That was a good throw from Fly. He put some steam on that one. And Sewell, with the defender on his back, able to secure the catch for the first down. Good showing here from your, your backups for the Bluers. First and 10. Fly in the shotgun, hands Cowherd. Cowherd looking for a hole, comes left side and is tackled after a gain of three. We'll bring up second and seven for the Knights. Just trying to tick it down here. 6.20 remaining in the game now. So Bishop Dwinger moves on. The Snyder Panthers do end their season. And Bishop Lewers will move on. Two for three here for the SAC in the regional finals as Lewers will get to host their game next week. And as long as West Lafayette does win, we'll see if we can get a score for you. Nope. And that is bobbled, and that'll be fumbled and turnover. So Marion will take over at the 44-yard line of Marion, first and 10. We'll take a short break, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. We're treating injuries when and where they happen and working to prevent them before they do. We believe the best care is coordinated care, helping ensure you get the individualized services you need every step of the way. Offering innovative treatment techniques to get you or the athlete you love back in play. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. First and 10 for Marion. 5.53 left in the ball game. And they're going to go back to the ground. Gibson. And he's going to be tackled just shy of the 50. A gain of about five yards. We'll bring up second and five. Under five and a half left. Again, thank you for joining us here tonight. SummitCitySports.com. Bringing you this live coverage of Indiana High School playoff action. That one went nowhere. Kamari Harris was there. And that will be a loss of about one. Five minutes left in the ball game. That was officially a loss of one, third and seven for the Knights of Marion. Looking wide, and that one just thrown too wide. Bring up fourth down for Marion. Clock stopped with 4.33 left in the game. Hmm. Interesting that they're going to punt this away. I mean, I would expect them to just go for it. You're at midfield, but... I guess you want to push him back a little bit. So back deep for Lures is Joe Derrick. As Renner skies that one, short kick. And bounced and downed at the 29-yard line of Bishop Lures. First and 10 with 426 left. Lures in control. Forty-two six. What a game displayed by head coach Kyle Lindsay. First and 10, Christian Fly in at quarterback. And that's Contrell Ash, number 23, who's checked into the game. 
minimal gain. Maybe a two yarder, second and eight. Second and eight. Under four minutes left in the game. Still 10 on the play clock. And we have a whistle and a timeout called by Lures. We'll take a short one with them. You are watching Indiana High School football right here, SummitCitySports.com. Parkview Sports Medicine is an integrated sports medicine team. I mean, I always had my family behind me. I always had my team behind me, but to have staff that wanted the best for me and to get me feeling better the quickest was really reassuring. Parkview Sports Medicine, game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple. Transparent. Reliable. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 3.39 left in this ball game. Second and eight for the Knights. Christian Fly wants a man in motion. Nick Mickley and hands off the gut and got one going nowhere. Maybe a loss of one. We'll bring up third and ten. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, SummitCitySports.com has high school girls basketball tomorrow starting at noon where I'll be at Homestead for Homestead. Lady Spartans hosting the Wayne Lady Generals. Third and ten for Lures. Three minutes to go. Christian Fly will hand off once again to Ash. Ash. And that is tackled right there at the 30. No gain once again. We'll bring up fourth and 10 and punting unit in for Lures. Just trying to get this clock done and the celebration will start for the Bishop Lures Knights fans in a regional championship and we'll get to host semi-state next week as long as West Lafayette can hold on. If Brebuff wins, then Lures will head to, head to Brebuff Jesuit. Yeah, that one bounced and down. Nope, he's going to pick it up and roll with it. About a six-yard return. And Mishawaka Marion will start on their own 46-yard line with 2.01 left in this game. Great punt there by 14, the senior, Karsten Ball. Good to see a senior go out there and get some action. Up, up a good amount of points. Get your guys out there that have got you to this point. So Mitchell Walker Marion will take the field. Brock still in at quarterback. Near side, that may got him up around the neck. No call. That should be a first down for Marion. They're going to be about a half yard short, so second and half a yard with a minute 40 left in the ball game. Brock under center. He'll hand off Anderson. 
Makes the first one miss and a nice gain. On a 12, 13 yard gain for Anderson. Sewell with the stop. And he hands off right up the gut. Nice gain, and we're under one minute remaining in this regional final. How about this contest from Norman Kanapke? Continues to impress here in Indiana High School football. As they'll come near side, trying to get to him. Finally dragged down. Ball will be spotted at about the 15 yard line. 32 seconds left. And this probably will be the last play of the game. Right. And this will be number 19 for Lures and their storied program. Brock Anderson tackled near the 10 yard line. And that should about do it. 22 seconds on the clock. Let's see if they choose to run another play. They do not have to. So Brock We'll get the play call, 10 seconds, and that will do it. So congratulations as the clock rolls out here at Bishop Lures High School. Congratulations to the Bishop Lures Knights on their 19th regional championship. They will move on to semi-state, but what a win for the Knights here tonight to move on don't forget, we'll be live tomorrow for high school basketball. But until then, for Pat Reith, Sean Boswell, I am Tim Atkinson. Thanks for joining us. You have been watching Indiana High School football right here from SummitCitySports.com. When you experience a sports injury, muscle, or joint pain, you want treatment right away. Parkview Ortho Express provides same-day orthopedic and sports injury care without referral or appointment, offering diagnostics, x-rays, the region's only body composition DEXA scan right inside of the Sport 1 Parkview Fieldhouse. Walk in Monday through Thursday, 7 to 7, Friday, 7 to 5, and Saturday, 8 to noon. For more information, go to parkviewsportsmedicine.com slash ortho express. It's the comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 This is the first time I've been able to do this kind of more uh, complete understanding or view of your body. One of the things that's really important about this is that it's kind of legitimizing us as athletes. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Choose from over 60 vehicles under $10,000. Visit drivekelly.com. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Concussions.
They're a concern for parents of athletes in any sport. That's why Parkview Sports Medicine is leading the way with the area's first concussion clinic. Our integrated sports medicine team utilizes an innovative, evidence-based approach to manage athletic-related head injuries in those 14 and older, providing comprehensive care to get the athlete you love safely back in play. To schedule an appointment, call Parkview Sports Medicine at 266-4007. Reaching higher, pushing further. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Get mad about blue. Get mad about your Fort Wayne mad ants. When looking for the best basketball action in town, it's a... to FortWayneMadAnts.com for the complete game schedule. See your Fort Wayne Mad Ants in action. Get mad about blue. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real world experience that I could take when I graduated and they delivered on that promise. For me, the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education but also the experience. Parkview Sports Medicine, especially since I've been a pro, has been a place where my game has really been able to develop in multiple facets. Injury prevention, maintenance, physical therapy, weightlifting, agility work, you know, all the things that I need to do in order to have an NBA body. This is the place for me to go when I come back home and I need to get a workout in. Always welcome me back with open arms. Parkview Sports Medicine. Game on. Both runners are running. Play coming home. From the crucial plays to the highlight of the game to the victory celebration, we are there. Summit City Sports isn't just a business, it's a group of companies investing in the youth of Fort Wayne Athletics. It's because of Parkview Sports Medicine, because of Kelly Automotive Group, Indiana Wesleyan University, University of St. Francis, and Big Eye Fish, that we can produce our broadcast viewed by hundreds of thousands in Northeast Indiana. Support Summit City Sports, become a sponsor, join our winning team today.